What's going on everyone and welcome back to Treebeard's Toy Box and today we're going to be taking a look at another Boba Fett figure and that is the brand new Star Wars The Black Series Return of the Jedi Boba Fett and my god <clears throat> let me just say I am really excited to check this figure out I uh, I was super tired today. I was up super late last night building a uh, bunk bed for my daughter. And then I had to work this morning. And all I wanted to do when I got home was watch Godzilla vs. Kong. But then I got the notification that this guy was out for delivery from Big Bad Toy Store. And so I, I knew I wanted to get a review up. And I wanted to get a review up before I, like while I was opening it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that because I want to check this figure out. Um, shout out to, uh, Big Bad Toy Store as well because usually their stuff ships a little later, but I don't mind. I really like that company. Um, they always pack things really well and I love their pre-order, how they don't charge you until it ships and their pile of loot and all of that and their customer service is really good. Um, so I highly recommend Big Bad Toy Store, but I was not expecting this guy till June, so I was going to start hunting for him tomorrow when he goes up for sale at Target. But Big Bad Toy Store actually beat Target, so hell yeah. Um, anyways, let's uh, get Treebeard out of here and take a look at this figure. So here we have, again, in the new Black Series packaging. I love the way they've been doing these. And uh, this is one of the deluxe figures. So it is, usually it's around $29.99 as opposed to the $19.99 or $24.99. Um, but this actually, like if you look, this looks like a deluxe figure, like with the, uh, the accessories he comes with. Um, really happy with that. So uh, yeah, we've got this great box art here and it's green for return of the jedi like it has been and uh, we're going to turn it to the side here and we've got this great image of boba there on the side and then you've got the bio on the back so on the back here it says with his customized mandalorian armor deadly weaponry and silent demeanor Boba Fett was one of the most feared bounty hunters in the galaxy. And, uh, yeah. And especially if you've seen his return on The Mandalorian. My God. So, anyways, let's uh, get him open and check him out. So, I'll go ahead. Definitely want to be careful so I can uh, save the box. I do save all my boxes, or most of them at least, all the Black Series I do. <clears throat> Got a normal warnings in there. Don't want to choke on anything. So I'll get this guy aside. And there he is in the tray. Warnings aside there. Okay, so here he is out of the package. I uh, took a second there and I actually did heat his helmet up a little bit because it was just a tad warped, but not too bad. And it does look like we get a uh, sculpted head under there. And I think it is the, uh, the actor who played Django. It's just the same actor who plays uh, Boba in Mandalorian. Um, but anyways, he uh, this guy looks great. He's got a great uh, new figure smell. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but if you do, my daughter and I love that new toy smell. And we love it. Um, but yeah, this guy just feels awesome. Very happy, right out of the box. 
Um, as far as details go, everything looks pretty good and pretty accurate. They, there might be some things that are off, but you know what? I'm not going to nitpick it. I, I love this thing. He, uh, this is, I think I'm holding my new favorite Black Series figure for sure. Um, I love the, uh, softness of this cape here. It's really nice. It's, uh, a little bit softer than, than I would have expected. And, um, yeah, it's actually very similar to the Vintage Collection as far as all the sculpt and everything goes. Um, which I guess you would expect that. Um, yeah, all the, uh, the detail work on the, uh, as far as the damage goes and the, uh, the wear and tear, that all looks great. And this is a nice pliable overlay piece, and I love that, actually. I don't know, something about that that's really cool. And uh, his belt here is a uh, separate piece that uh, moves around a bit. Let's see. Yeah, a separate piece here. This moves around. The detail is just fantastic. Look at the gold there. If you can see that on his gauntlet. All the detail there is, is really nice. And there on the hoses and yeah oh man very impressed with this this goes down yeah all oh, the paintwork looks wonderful yeah I'm very happy with uh, how he looks and he comes with quite a bit too. Let's uh, check out some of this stuff here. So for accessories, he comes with quite a bit here. We get this uh, jetpack here. And these here are articulated, but this one for me is stuck and I don't, I heated it up a little bit. I don't want to force it anymore. I'm afraid I might break it. So I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, some nice weathering there. That blue, I love, I don't know. There's something about these colors I really like. I know they kind of don't, it's the same with the vintage collection. It uh, doesn't really match, but I love it. And he comes with this little detachable rocket there. And that fits really nice and snug in there, so you don't have to worry about that falling out. Yeah. And then he comes with this, which attaches to his gauntlet over here. Right there. Yeah. So that's cool. We'll Get some pics of that later. And then he also comes with these two little guys to go in here. And yeah, away we go. Love that. And he's got two rifles. We get this one. Pretty decent detail there. It's um, got a little bit of a wash. Some decent detail. And then we get that same gun, but we get it split in half from when Luke Skywalker cut it in half. And that goes together like that. So yeah, for accessories, awesome. So good. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. 
So for articulation, we get the uh, this up here. And then we've got a lot of room in the neck and the head because we've got two different ball pegs joints here, one at the top, then one at the bottom. And we get a hinge swivel here, rotates. You get a uh, butterfly joint in there. It's kind of hidden the same with uh, that they did with the Bo-Katan figure. It's kind of hidden under the overlay, but it is there. And uh, these are very pliable. So those get out of your way nicely. But yeah, you can see that butterfly joints in there and he's got all kinds of movement there. It's awesome. And we get a little bit of a uh, torso here. Uh, nothing at the waist, but that's all right. And get, there we go, the leg. And then we get our thigh. And they are doing the single jointed knees again. Uh, it does swivel, uh, but I'm okay with that. Um, he's got a couple different things going on up here. He's got a swivel here. You can see that, and then it swivels here, hinges here, and then you get the uh, hinge and swivel for the wrists. And these, yeah, this, this, uh, Articulation here is awesome. They give you a lot to work with. So yeah, that's very happy with that. Definitely think I'm looking at my new favorite Black Series figure. If not, probably my favorite Boba figure. I missed out on the uh, Mafex and the uh, SH figure arts, and I don't feel like paying the money that they are now. Um, but this guy, I'm I'm fine. At least until we get the uh, um, Mandalorian or the uh, Boba from the Mandalorian, this is this is my favorite. Uh, and then we get here, we get the uh, ankle rocker, swivel, and all that. Pretty typical. Nice movement there. Let's see. So yeah, that's gonna do it. For the articulation and uh yeah he's got lots of movement so you can get him in, in a lot of good poses and let's go ahead and get some of his stuff on him and check him out so there he is with uh all of his accessories Looking like quite the badass. Love this figure. I will probably still try to get one at uh, Target or somewhere else so I can keep uh, keep Ernie, which means keeping it in the packaging. Let's see. Is that a... I thought I saw a waist swivel there for a second, but I don't think so. I think it's just where that belt is. Um, but yeah, I might get another one to keep it Ernie. Um, because this guy is, is so good. Yeah, there's that. And let's get him with some other Mandalorians. So one thing I forgot to mention before uh, we get to uh, comparisons as far as articulation goes is his gauntlets are actually a separate... Um, he's got separate articulation for his gauntlets, too, so you can swivel those around along with this there and this and this. So <laughs> you're going to get a lot of movement. You should get tons of range. Um, and what else was there? Oh, and he also had... One other accessory that I'm actually going to leave in the box, and that is this uh, grappling hook there. And it comes with this little thing that attaches to his wrist, but I am not going to use it. 
I'm just going to leave it in the packaging, so. But I did want to mention that he comes with that, so. So first up, I wanted to show him with the, um, the vintage collection because their, their sculpts are so similar. And it's nice to see such nice work put into both figures. Like they are both excellent figures. And their backpacks are, are the same. For the most part, it looks like the rocket on this guy's is a little different. Yeah. There are some slight differences there, but. And his cape is cloth, or his little, uh, it's not really a cape, but. Yeah. They're both really great figures. Probably my favorite for each line. Ah. So yeah, there is the vintage collection with the Black Series. I love both of these figures. So let's check them out with some other figures. Here we have the original Boba Fett from Empire Strikes Back. And then... We have the carbonized version. And then, let's see. Here is Bo, who I reviewed the other day. And let's go ahead and just get all the Mandos in here. At least all the Mandos that I have. And here you have a, uh, our Mandalorian party. So we've got, uh, let's see. I guess it's kind of hiding back here. We have the uh, Mandalorian Super Commando. There you go. The Mandalorian. And then we have our Loyalist. Right there. And then we've got Django right there. We've got uh, this badass right here, the heavy infantry Mando. We've got our carbonized Mando hiding back here. Boop, peekaboo. And we've got Sabine Wren. And we've got Bo-Katan. And we have Din Djarin and Grogu. And then we've got our Empire Strikes Back, Boba Fett, we've got the regular, and then the carbonized. And then we have the new Return of the Jedi. And yeah, those are my Mandalorians. It's not every one of them. Uh, I don't own every one. There's a couple I'm missing, maybe. I know the uh, prototype Fett I'm missing. Um... But I'm quite happy with my collection. And I love this new Boba Fett figure. Um, I think that Hasbro knocked it out of the park. Um, there are some slight nitpicks if you were to get picky, but I'm not going to do that. I love this figure. Um, I think that if I were to give it a number rating, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend it, and I hope that it's out there on the on the shelves in the pegs uh and in, in good abundance i hope that no one has trouble finding this figure i know that all the pre-orders went really fast um <clears throat> but with a character like this you want to make sure that he's good and stocked and if you do happen to get one that has a slightly warped helmet ah, don't fear um just Hit it with a hairdryer for just a couple of minutes, and it should just fit back out. Like, it, or it just uh, it goes to its true form. You know, it uh, loosens up a bit, and the mold goes back to how it should be. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to do it. I'm going to take some photos here, 
I, uh, I thank you so much for watching. And thanks to everyone who watched, uh, who's been watching my uh, vintage collection boba review. Um, but yeah, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks again, and please tell your friends. And until next time, take good care.